Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Dead Cells. We're gonna continue playing Boss Rush. We've done the first door, we've done the second door. Now let's do the third door. I just wanted to, to try for a second there. So in theory, this might be one hit in your dead mode. Who knows? You're back. Okay. Well, you know what? We've done brutality, we've done tactics. Sorry, we've done brutality and survival. Let's go tactics. 3, 16, 3. What weapon do we want? Um, I mean, there is a fire synergy built into this one, so that seems like kind of an obvious choice. We also have the Barnacle and the Wings of the Crow. Not that good at the Wings of the Crow. Oh, Death Orb, absolutely. Death Orb is fantastic. So we've got a lot of damage. Mutation-wise, if we can't get hit regardless, then we don't need disengagement. So we should probably take no mercy. We should probably take... <sighs> I don't know. We don't have any ranged weapons for Acrobatapack. Um, <laughs> what would what would what would you take here? We can take the red mutation that allows us to drink a flask to do more damage. Twenty five percent bonus damage for twelve seconds. Ew! No, we can probably do point blank and. Maybe support plus damage if you're close to a deployed skill, I guess? I guess? I guess? Yeah, you know, it's something. We can always swap these out later for free, so just taking whatever we want now is okay. Now, what do you think this boss is? Is this the nest? No, it's, um, these are the bosses. These are the bosses. Blackbridge, Crypt, Nest. I think it's the nest. Oh no. Well, no, it's it's not the hard version, but once again, we've completely ruined our ability to get a synergy that is oil-based. Except maybe not. It really does depend if the Death Orb actually does apply oil. Let's see. So it's not the hard version, it's the easy version of Mopitae. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't think we can actually light him on fire. I think we can get the crit out of our ranged attack. Just hoping that you don't attack the same spot twice, basically. By the way, your malaise tier is increased. So just wait. Also, wait a minute, I got hit. <laughs> Are we, did we win? It's not no hit mode. Oh, you know what? It It's probably not, I, I, th I think I'm misinterpreting this. The added door is probably not, you have to do it flawless, that's probably an optional thing. If you do it flawless... What? If you do it flawlessly, you you probably uh, get like an extra reward, like an extra good rare blueprint or something. But you can finish the game mode while taking damage, but you probably fight harder bosses or maybe more bosses. So do we want to reset the mutations? No. We just want to go to the next level. So we have, we have to fight two bosses, and then we have to fight the crypt. I understand, this is hard mode, but it's hard because you have to fight more bosses. I like it, I like it. And I'm vaguely understanding what's happening as we progress here.
You're not actually on fire. So I'm not getting my crits in on you. Careful. I did get hit there. Oh, come on. The, um... These fireballs, they're really hard to aim. They're not, like, actually going straight, basically. Or rather, they're going s exactly straight. They're not curving upwards at all. To hit the enemy. does not last that long on bosses. But we got him. Is the other door just regular bosses versus the other doors amped up bosses? So the, the green doors from Boss Rush are the ones that have enhanced bosses. And the two on the right give you more fights. That door opened up. That was weird. So we fought two bosses. Then we leave. Then we go to the the second set of bosses. So we're going to be fighting Clock Boss, Giant, or Mausoleum Boss. We're going to be fighting two of the three. Magic Bow. Shot to leave a trail of flames. Might enable the Vampire Killer a little bit more easily than Pyrotechnics, to be honest with you. I didn't even look at what the other item was. So I'm just like, yeah, magic bow. Let's see if there's anything here that we want. Dude, Star Fury is very good. I'm gonna hold it in my backpack. And I, as I'm doing this, I'm realizing we need to prepare for specific bosses. Firebrands actually do a ton of damage and will synergize into Vampire Killer. Uh, but what I'm realizing is that we need to prepare for whatever boss we come across. The Star Fury is very good against the Giant. We can pull that out for that fight specifically. Otherwise, I kind of like what we have. Magic Bow, I feel like, is going to be pretty good against the uh, Mausoleum boss because he spends a lot of time up in the air and whatnot. And then for um, Clock Boss, I mean, we have Death Orb. That should be pretty, pretty decent. So, we want synergies with... Also, this spreads oil, which is pretty good. We want synergies with fire, I think. So I'm thinking, reroll this. Ooh, HP heal? No, thank you. I guess it probably can't give you a synergy for fire, huh? So let's not worry about that then. Because it already gets crit for fire, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's um, let's give it a go. This is going to be the giant fight, so we're going to probably swap out to the sword. Yeah. I mean, this is, like, highly effective. We're actually hitting the other hand as well. Yep. All right. I mean, pretty much perfect. Okay. Kind of forgot what you did there for a second.
Okay, flawless Tim. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't move for a little while there. And you know what? We got a bit of a point. Shots leave a trail of flames. Maybe we can have a poison synergy here. Shots leave a trail of flames. Okay, you know what? I like it. You, you convinced me you sold me. Because that Star Fury, that's really good. It's actually, like, really freaking good. Um, but the Carbine and the Magic Bow are going to be good for the bosses that we're about to fight. So, you know what? I think we dump Vampire Killer. And then we'll have these for the next fight. Hello. Yes, I don't care. And it's red, so I've closed my eyes. This is Mausoleum Boss. No, this is Clock Boss. Purple must be Mausoleum Boss. Oh, really? Okay, well, he definitely heal up before you die. <laughs> we don't have disengagement, too. Oh, I was stuck by the door. I think I was about to die. <laughs> we don't have, we didn't take disengagement, so uh, if we got hit again, we would have pretty much died. We should have taken disengagement, absolutely. Um, Tesla Coil. Better or worse than Barnacle Trap? It doesn't enable poison, but we have poison already. Uh, I think Barnacle Trap is fine. So we're done. Now we're going to be going to the third boss. Hand of the King Lighthouse. Oh, really, that's it, right? It's probably not going to give us Dracula. Maybe it will, who knows? Knockbow 54,000 DPS. You gotta figure that that's better than the magic bow at this point, right? Although it does have a bonus damage to poison targets, but we can put that on the on the multi knock bow, right? I think we swap to the multi knock bow. And we're going into poison synergies now, I think. Um we're probably not gonna switch weapons, but just in case we find something. Nah. 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 Not interested. Um, so we want poison. Burning also works, but poison would be better. There you go. Okay. Next up, green door. Lighthouse. <laughs> it's always the lighthouse, huh? Can you ever get Hand of the King? I feel like we're, I mean, three times in a row, you know, that's not impossible. It's just not super likely. Excuse me. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm annoyed because I was just rolling away and they hit me from behind three times in a row. <laughs> and then I tried to heal. God damn it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Try it again. Want to do tactics again? I feel like this is something I should re uh, I should go to Google for. Please give me a, uh, a dice roll. All right, it has given me a one. Brutality it is. I like Terloric Shock, I like the Fire Blast. I like the fire and the fire and the fire. I also really like the Grapple. Holy Water as well, Fire Synergy. Could be pretty decent. Let's go for this one. It's gonna be you, 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 you. And then, actually, you just get sold. I don't like you at all. Okuto's Bow. Actually, this seems very good if we can get a uh, 
like fire synergy happening because the fire is gonna do more damage over time without me even needing to be there. So we want disengagement. We want no mercy. And then is there anything that we want for brutality? Not really, maybe just give me recovery then. Nest again, I think. We're learning, and hey, for once, we're not doing a fire synergy against the nest boss. We just have bows and a grappling hook as brutality. have to do this flawless now, but I didn't see the uh, tentacle coming up out of the freaking ground, man. By the way, your malaise tier is increased. Kind of panicked for a second. careful about using the grappling hook. It does kind of stun temporarily. We got hit once. We shouldn't have even gotten hit once. Is that double pans? <laughs> what do you think? Double pans? The panchucks? That animation is so smooth. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 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 okay, panchucks, panchucks. I believe in the panchucks. Oh, that's how we were getting our ammo back because the ammo comes back from that. Makes sense, actually. Poisons the enemy in Hokuto's bow. You know what, goodbye infantry bow. We've upgraded, I feel. Because the bow will poison the enemy. Well, no, the panchucks will poison the enemy, enabling the extra value out of the, uh, the, 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 the poison nunchucks. <laughs> Now here's a question. Did I just go to fight a boss that has no backside or front side for that matter? <laughs> it's possible. This boss might just have um no sides, you know, it's like a circle. Hey, come back here. Yeah, so this boss has no backside. Lovely. These enemies do though. I mean, the damage is, like, fine. And of course we have that, like, extra value-added poison. Okay, so the white side of the tentacle is the front. Oh, are you kidding me? Bokuto's bow is doing a lot of this this uh, work for us because even when the boss is flying around, we're able to do damage to it. <laughs> Why do you fly to the camera? When did they make that change? I don't have 3D glasses, okay? I don't have, I'm not playing Dead Cells in VR. How would that even work? Yoink. Hayabusa gauntlets. Critical hits if the victim has less than 40% health. Honestly, what about putting that in our backpack, swapping to this when they're at less than 40% health and using this to take them out? Think about that, huh, 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 huh? We'd have to lose the bow. Or the, the shield, rather, but let's do it. I think that's interesting enough to try. Blood sword. Uh, 
480 DPS for 12 seconds. So it's probably like 25,000 DPS, which is it's better than the Panchucks, believe it or not. But, oh dude, Hakuto's bow has poisons the enemy on it. That's absurd. That's fantastic. Plus 80% damage to a poison target. Hukuta's bow poisons the target. Dude, I think we want Blood Sword rather than Panchucks. I hate to say it, because the Panchucks are good, but the Blood Sword poison, or sorry, the Blood Sword bleed and combo with the Hukuto's bow is very good. And then we don't have to worry about whether or not we're in front of the enemy or behind the enemy, you know? So we might actually want to think about grabbing a... Uh, Face flask or something else. Volley of arrows, spreads of oil. Let's see what we got. Oh, a card. Well, no, that's we're never gonna be able to recharge it, is the problem. Sinew slicer could be interesting. What do you think? Sinew Slicer? Going into the second phase bosses, it's not going to do anything against the giant, but neither is our uh, Holy Vial, really. Um, against the clock boss... You know, I kind of like Sinew Slicer for Mausoleum and clock bosses. And we don't have a fire synergy anymore. We have poison synergy, actually. Kind of like it. Corrosive Cloud is also interesting, but... I like this, and then I think we re-roll it to look for poison. You know what? Generating poison is also probably good enough. Cool. So this is giant. It's not going to do anything against the giant, but that's fine, because we have good damage with the Blood Sword, I think. I mean, that seems pretty good. Move! Get over the- Oh my god. Completely whipped on that one. It's gotta kinda- Oh, really? I got hit by another falling thing, too. I mean, I can't really get over there. Dude, I mean, this is a very good synergy we have here. We're doing a lot of damage. I'm kind of ashamed to even take the damage that we took, but that was fine. I got hit because the fist came down from the heavens to get me. So this should be clock. You can skip some boss intros, not all of them. Ow. You did hurt me. <laughs> I still have disengagement at least. Thousand damage? That's a lot of damage. I also took a lot of damage there. But I will uh, just continue to say that I'm actually pretty bad against Clock Boss when I'm not just running away using turrets and ranged weapons. At least that one was fast. And our damage is really good. You know what? I, I like what we have. Let's not worry about it. Let's just take a, a trap. And then just go fight uh, probably the lighthouse again, if I had to guess. <laughs> well, 
Has anyone ever done a Dead Cells boss rush? Do you get other bosses? Or is it just me? A little, little ridiculous. It's good practice. I don't mind that. Oh. One thing about this fight is, um... Oh, I forgot that you even had that as an attack. One thing about this fight is, um... I always forget that you get attacked by three enemies. You can't really be in the middle of an attack when something else spawns trying to kill you. That's just a way of getting yourself killed. At least the bow is doing a very good job of uh, slowly killing you. Ow! I <laughs> killed you in the air! What? I'm like caught in the slow motion. I can't attack you right now. <laughs> I, got, I think I got screwed on that one. It's like the slow motion's happening and I already queued up an attack and you, you hit me while time is slowed. You jerk! All right, next level. Hand of the king, queen. Nope, we're done. <laughs> Forever lighthouse. The belt and wish. That's a mut. Is that a mutation? I feel like that's a mutation. Also, am I an idiot? Do I have to go back and deliver the blueprints? <laughs> or are they immediately like deposited? Oh God. At least I have 103 cells on it. Let's see what we unlocked. We unlocked belt. Where's belt? Belt. Honestly, I like that belt. I like the the classic style. Ignore the fact that I have I am a chicken. Let's do another one. Uh, ultra ultra hard mode. Ooh. I mean, I'd rather not, but like, sure. I think the third door is the ideal difficulty. The um, second door, good for practicing these bosses. I mean, here's the thing. Google rolled a D1, or it rolled a D4 and gave me one. So sure, we'll do it again. Did all the others complete the mission? Complete. This is healing, bleed, poison, serenade, does double damage, take double damage, infantry bow, flamethrower turret, hard light sword, which I, I don't really use that often actually. Let's try hard light sword. Or oil and fire can actually maybe apply the oil fire, and then we have a throwing axe to apply bleed. It's like you have to mark enemies by hitting them. They take more damage for each stack of mark, but the mark only lasts for like five seconds. So you really got to get in there and hit them hard. I don't know. Let's try hard light sword. Deals critical damage depending on the number of gun marks, and it recharges ammo for your gun. Marks the target to make the sword do more damage. So we have to, we have to open with the gun, then attack with the sword. Why does the gun have critical hit possibility on it? That's the, that's the question. I guess we'll, um... So we'll ignore the shield. Hmm. Rebound stone, interesting. Double damage, war spear. 
strike several targets at the same time. I mean, look at the damage comparison. Hard Light Sword does 3,000 on a non-crit. This does seven on a non-crit. Um, but let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can make it work. The stone is pretty funny. You know what, get rid of Serenade. Take the stones and then we'll upgrade them. Is that even gonna be any good? You know, it'll be funny. <laughs> that's, that's all I need, it'll be funny. Um, so we're gonna do probably the same upgrades, AKA survival. Oh, I can't even, I can't even edit this. Okay, well, I guess, you know, just don't get hit forehead. I haven't even fought this guy on hard mode though, so I don't even know what he does. Hey, cool skin, bro. Is there two of them? There's gonna be two of them. I knew it. I like the animation too, like, oh, come on! Oh, they immediately start jumping. Freaking hell, dude! Jesus! I, I'm, I like, uh, yeah, please get me out of that fight. Holy crap. <laughs> they immediately open up in like their last phase where they're leaping at you and then they also have AOE denial aura around them. God, that is, that is not a fun fight. That is not gonna be a fun fight. <laughs> Um, I, I do like the swords. So let's just go for this. Oh, I took the gr double damage grenade like a freaking fool. I can't drop it now. No, we can. Dude, the boomerang is a lot of fun, but I, I gotta drop the double damage grenade, so I'm gonna take the stun grenade. There we go. Okay. We got our mutations. Where, this is, um, this is just the crypt. Crypt's not gonna be that bad because if you're if you're on the platforms, the tentacles can't hurt you anyways. I mean, this is way easier than double fight. Well, I know there's a tentacle there. Oh, come on. You know, stop running. Could you stop running for me, please? Could... At least I'm actually able to, like, get a hit in now. You know what? Honestly, I think I'm doing this fight incorrectly with this weapon. Ow! I refuse to heal. We've done, like, no damage. Why are the, all these bosses like 8,000 times tankier <laughs> in this mode? Get out of here. I can't see! So we, we actually do have to kill all the tentacles that have accumulated. It's very interesting. Throw the grenade, damn it. Why did you? Ow! No! Climb! Okay. 
Get him, 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 get him. No! Got him. Skip. Don't hit the camera. <laughs> well, that was, uh, that wasn't great. Man, these, these alternate bosses are pretty freaking annoying. <laughs> They're very hard. And also, you don't get legendary equipment. I mean, that's not like a huge problem. It's a little problem. Okay, don't, please don't fight. Okay, it's gonna be the nest, which is way more doable than double concierge. We gotta practice that fight. We should go back to the other doorway to practice these. Also, don't forget, when you stun the eyeball, it will break the AI slightly. Damage is pretty good. Oh, this happens automatically. Done. At least this phase is like normal. Oh, you attack twice in the same spot. Not really much we can do other than just be better. Beautiful. I, I was waiting for the tentacles to see what they were gonna do. At least the sword kicks ass. Oh, I can't dodge that fast. Freaking stupid game. Why are why are the exclamation marks so far out of position? <laughs> That's Did you see that? The exclamation marks were like four body lengths, like my body lengths ahead of where they were actually coming up out of the ground. It confused the hell out of me. Sure. Sure. I mean, like, consider the difficulty between the double concierge and these bosses where it's just like, oh, you have to dodge one more thing, basically. And, you know, I'm taking some damage, but at least I'm surviving the fight. <laughs> Victim of bleed spreads it to other nearby enemies. Spreads oil. Stun duration up. We already spread oil. I don't know, the flashbang is pretty good. Would we rather have knife dance or or what? I feel like this is better than the corrosive cloud. The corrosive cloud doesn't really seem to do too much damage. We'll check out to see if we can get a new weapon. And then ideally, well, I think what I'm gonna do is just get rid of pyrotechnics immediately. But ideally we can find some we can re-roll into like a synergy here. Like we need, we need like a poison or a bleed synergy. The, the star fury damage is, is not correct. When the stars fall, because there's two of them, you get a lot more damage than it looks like. I will say the sadist's stiletto sounds okay with knife dance, but I, I like what we have. Could use this to uh, quickly toss out fire that will synergize with the Star Fury to put oil down. Knife Dance would do more damage. Stun Grenade also applies oil. I don't really have too much money to spend on these though. Like, you don't get much cash on these. So what do we have? We have possible fire. Possible bleed. I'm gonna re-roll this. Shots explode into a toxic cloud. So we can have like a possible poison synergy, maybe? I don't know, dude. Let's just go fight the giant. So this is 
four-handed giant. Beautiful. I'm hitting the other hands. Right. Right, 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 right. You do have four hands. <laughs> I may have forgotten about the four-hand thing. I mean, really, just, like, keep attacking, right? Ow! I gotta pay more attention to what the hands are doing is the problem. I'm, I'm so used to the original fight, of course. that I'm not quite noticing what's going on. And of course, freaking crystals suck. What are you doing? No, not more. I should have jumped. Why did I not jump on that? It was kind of a lucky parry. I had the timing all off. I I, I do hate that the um, that was bad. That the uh, stars that I create are actually going for the hands. Oh, that's so bad. Even if we take the hit, we gotta heal. Also, I'm realizing when you break the other hands, you don't get a moment to attack. Like, you don't get the, um... The, the, if you break one of the one of the far side hands, they don't come down and the eye comes out. So what's the point of having the stars hit those hands? It, breaking them doesn't seem to do anything. So Star Fury on this form of the fight seems not fantastic because you can't control where those stars are landing. They're just hitting the hands for no reason. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Also, I'm out of heals, I'm noticing. <laughs> Man, we gotta practice these so much. Clock. I don't know about you, but those are his feet which look like hands and no one can tell me otherwise is Jackman. Why are his feet above his head? That makes no sense. You make no sense. Nice outfit! What the hell is that? <laughs> Oh. I was going to try to parry. I, I just messed up the timing on that one. That's my bad. I think, I think I'm going to jump back to uh, door two and try one more. I'm going to do another roll, though. We rolled a two, so this is going to be tactics. Innovation says, I either steamroll this boss or get completely wrecked by him. Do you mean the clock boss, the time eater or time keeper? She's pretty tough. Um, what's weird is that I don't really know what she was doing differently due to this be that being like the hard mode version of the fight. Like, it's easy to tell what was up with you know, the giant, he had four hands. What, what was she doing differently? I couldn't tell. Was she just like a little bit faster or something? I don't know. We'll go tactics, because that's what I rolled. We will go for... Oh, ew. Uh... Jesus, um... Try this. A little swap there. Tesla coils, good damage. Electric whip can hit enemies when we're away from them. Parry shield, I really like, depending on the fight we're on. And wolf trap. If she was whooping your butt, that's what. Well, that's not abnormal though, base. <laughs> she fully heals between phases. Ew. If that's the only difference, admittedly, that's not that bad. 
It's annoying, sure, but if that's the only difference, I, I can I can kind of live with that. Root grenade, oil grenade. I mean, the wolf trap and the root grenade, they're, they're similar, right? I think I'd rather have the trap than the root grenade, but in my head I can't really understand why. I guess the root might last a little bit longer, like the traps can go out there and last a little bit longer, I guess. Well, in that case, we probably don't need any of these. Hello, my friend. No mercy. Disengagement. And if we're tactics with a turret, I am thinking support. Help us do a little bit more damage. So this is going to be Watcher yet again. Okay. At least with the, um, our loadout, we can hit the boss even if we don't do that much damage. I say that, but like... Freaking break the sound. Damage we dealt. Oh, I should have parried twice. It was actually not that bad. Oh, I got hit by that one! On this phase, I guess. Sure, why not? Seems okay. There's only one left. I feel like that didn't go that badly at all. You didn't get hit in the freaking wolf trap? I'm stunned on the ground. What makes you think it's okay that you summon a tentacle when I'm stunned on the ground? I can't do anything about that. Just gonna die. That didn't go that badly. That was that was annoying. Especially when I got knocked off of the platform, I was stunned, and then I got hit by a tentacle. Flame turret. I, I like the, the Tesla coil. Ferryman's lantern. No! Goodbye. Give me more stats, thank you. I wonder if you can break the door down. Hemorrhage. Or phaser. Teleport you behind the enemy. The next attack inflicts plus 8,833 damage. Um. We'd rather root with what we have right now. I'll put the hemorrhage in my backpack in case we need it. The cards are interesting. Well, there's a like a bleed synergy with the axes and the Tesla coil and wolf trap do way more da way more damage against poison bleeding targets. So you know what? Grab me the throwing knives. Grab me the hemorrhage, the shield in our backpack. We can pull it out if we need it, depending on what boss we're fighting. One of these. we can enable the synergy and then just chuck in another axe. So I think this is clock boss again, but I feel like we've got a very good anti-clock boss build. Very ranged. Although we're gonna take a lot of damage if we ever do get hit. If we ever, if we, if we. Whoa! I tried so hard! 
But we gotta we gotta heal. See you, you ah, freaking hell. I, oh my god. Well, I, I understand what she does now. <laughs> what, what she, what's different about the fight. She can move while she has her shurikens out. Which is, which means that you've got to, you've got to dodge the shurikens when they explode out of her and then also dodge whatever attack she's going to hit on you when she's approaching you. That's annoying. And then someone said that she also possibly uh, heals Holy crap! What? <laughs> Man! The, uh... Alt version of these bosses are a pain in the ass! But... Unfair? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely unfair. <laughs> also, I need to be a little bit better and practice these fights a lot more. Fair enough. Um... It's also harder to work around the bosses because in the, in the normal game, you know what boss you're gonna fight because you know what path you're taking. You can just look ahead and see like, oh, I wanna fight this boss. You can build around it. You can take equipment that helps for those bosses. But here you've gotta be very careful about what you take because you, you need to be able to handle any boss that shows up. I guess it's not a huge difference but it, it is a minor difference that you have to be careful about you know what about possibly fighting any boss and being able to fight any boss with whatever equipment you take it's a very interesting play style i kind of like it though it, it gives me something to do and something to uh to challenge you know ye old dead cells players here tough as hell I don't know if the timing of things is different as well, like if the bosses are faster, literally speaking, but uh, definitely, definitely difficult. A lot of fun though. I like the boss rush mode. I give it, uh, you know, a thumbs up approval. I, I, thought, it, I thought I was not gonna like it because I thought it was just gonna be like a normal boss rush where you just fight the bosses and that's it. But there's so much that's been added not only makes it like its own little mini game, but then also, hey, I can make a statue to myself. <laughs> Beautiful. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel, any of the links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Dead Cells.